Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Upon the hearing of my voice this morning, we have so much to give God thanks for. So many people went to bed last night with the dreams and aspiration of getting up this morning and are not numbered among the living. So as long as we're alive and breathing, whether we're struggling, whether we have health issues, whatever the situation might be, we still have a lot to give thanks for. <clears throat> now this morning, we want to look at two incidents. One in St. Elizabeth where a farmer was gone down. And another, a man in St. Catherine, was found with an illegal firearm. Now, this is where the problem lies in Jamaica. Especially with the firearms situation. Illegal firearm. We know the Prime Minister stands on it. And we hear DCP Bailey saying that anyone, if it was up to him, anyone caught with a firearm would do life imprisonment. I am not far away from that. Anything that puts them away for a long time, I am into it. Now, it, this situation here is going to show you how these criminals are enjoying our, and are playing tit for tat with the law. They're juggling around the law. And these lawyers know. That's why some of these lawyers come out and say, Oh, it can't work. It can't this. Because this is where they, they get their money. This is their feeding tree. And the longer we put away people behind bars, it's the less money for the lawyers. Now, at the end of the day, we want these lawyers to think about Jamaica. First, the safety of our law-abiding citizens. That's what we want our lawyers to be thinking about. Now, listen to this story. According to the Jamaica Gleaner, St. Catherine farmer and 23-year-old Michael Watson was yesterday sentenced to three years imprisonment for illegal possession of firearm. Wilson, who is from Old Harbour, had pleaded guilty in a gun court in Kingston on November 3 last year to the charge. Attorney Courtney Foster, who represents Watson, made an impassioned plea for leniency. Foster indicated to the court that Watson had found the firearm and was on his way to submit it to the police to receive reward from Crime Stop program when he was beaten by cops and taken into custody. The prosecution case was that at the time Watson's arrest, police personnel saw him acting suspiciously, suspiciously along a road in Old Arbor. The police searched him and found the firearm in his bag. He also got character um, witness testifying that he was an industrious and a quiet man. Listen. The quiet people are some of the persons with the deadliest heart. And I don't buy that story that he was taking this firearm to Crime Stop. He could be right, but I just don't buy it. We are living in a Jamaica today where guns is the most preferred choice of criminality january alone 88 firearms were seized in jamaica is this a civil war is there a political war taking place is jamaica up against another country 88 weapons plus how much more he knows god he knows is on the street are in our small little island with a population of just over 3 million people. To do what? To do what? Is the question. Now, this man say he was going to collect an award. As far as I know, all you have to do, you find the firearm, you call Crime Stop. You call Crime Stop, you don't take a firearm and walk with it on the street. No. The worst part of it, after finding this firearm and the police hold on to it, my question is, if you have a firearm in your bag and you see police coming and you say you find the firearm, you don't think you could bring it to the police attention and tell them, listen, you want to collect some money from the, the Crime Stop program because you found this firearm? I don't buy that story. And then, to make matters worse, he goes to court, plead guilty, and what he gets? 23-year-old man gets three years in prison for an illegal firearm. This man will be out by his 26 years old. And even if he has bad, good behavior in prison, he'll be out before that. 
So if he's a criminal naturally, he's going to be out on the street creating havoc again. This is where the problem lies. This is where our justice system is failing the police, is failing the Jamaican people. There's no way the hardworking police of Jamaica should find a man with a firearm, take him to court, and then he pleads guilty, and then only get three years in prison. And I can tell you if his behavior is good in prison, he's out before that. We must not enter into any plea bargain deal with these criminals unless they are bringing down something big to us. These criminals must be brought to book and feel the full force of the law when they turn up at someone's gate there's no plea bargaining with anybody we have to be vigilant in jamaica our laws have to be supporting the police we can't have the police doing so much hard work and then by tomorrow the criminal is back on the street I even saw something yesterday where they say like if a thousand persons is sent to prison a couple years after out of that thousand five hundred of them return there's nothing to stop them from doing what they used to do the justice system puts them in and lets them out in no time to continue where they left off 88 guns found in January alone 130 something people died in january alone it's an all-out war against law-abiding citizens in jamaica even though most of the killings have been gang related let me know what you think in the comment section the other bit of news i want to talk about is the police are probing tuesday night's shooting death of a farmer at his home in Comapen, saint elizabeth the deceased has been identified as 58-year-old Albert Powell. It was reported that shortly after 7 p.m., residents heard loud explosion coming from the direction of Powell's home. The police were alerted and found Powell with bullet wounds. He was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. A motive has not been established for the killing. Listen, when I was growing up and you hear a 58-year-old man die like this, more than likely, it would be robbery. And at 58 year old, most times, when I was growing up, this man would have to die from natural causes. But we are living in a cruel world. Once St. Elizabeth was referred to as the breadbasket of Jamaica, criminals are rampant all over now. No one is planting fields anymore. No one wants to be a farmer anymore. And even if they're farming, they're not farming produce that you can eat. This is the world we are in today. It's a sad situation. We wonder when it will change. We implore the government to do something and to apply pressure and to support the police. We have seen the Zozo now and we have seen a little lull in some of the killings. But it doesn't stop. And we didn't expect Zozo or SOEs to stop crime. But at least the rate we were going, a lid had to be put to the situation. Our police are working hard every day. They are citizens just like us. They feel the impact just like us. As a matter of fact, they are even hated more than we, the law-abiding citizens. Because the minute they go into certain communities to arrest certain people, they get the verbal abuse. They are video recorded. And the criminals that will never be um, violated verbally. And they cannot record the criminals. But, you know, we wait to hear what would be the motive behind the killing of 58-year-old Albert Powell. St. Elizabeth has produced a lot of Powells. And especially in Comapen is a cricketing district. In St. Elizabeth. And we hope the police will get underneath this and unearth what was the problem, what caused the life of Mr. Albert Powell to be taken. And we hope that the perpetrator or the perpetrators will be brought to book. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell 
So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, stay safe. Look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one. And most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.